The next couple of minutes will be dedicated to the only man that matters tonight. That's myself. Um, that's why. <laughs> I heard my sister Camilla here, the bride, um, she called my name and she told me to come inside and there I see Eric holding out a, my, my favorite six pack of beer with a, with a big smile in his, on his face and greeted me a happy birthday and from then I thought, yep, this guy is gonna be a, a big part of my life. <laughs> For a few who may not know, the groom and I go way back. We go 21 years now. I am so grateful to have been able to stand by at the caramel side as he married my brother. Okay. <laughs> okay, whew. wait. Okay. And to Eric, we know you know how 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 the whole family uh, feels about you. We love you. And to my daughter Nina, whatever happens, you will always be my little girl. I love you. older sister and now I do. Now I have someone to teach me makeup and girl junk. Someone, someone who passes down their clothes to me so I don't have to buy my own and someone I can go to for any advice because with my brother it does have its limitations. <laughs> Ever since you have been an additional role model to me, I can confidently say that my brother has found the one. Two thousand eighteen was a year to remember. I was finished with my studies, got a full-time job, booked a month holiday to the U.S. What else could I want? Then you came when I least expected it. But I've always thought that God brought me the perfect person at the perfect time. You completed and made my year, then and now. I still can't believe that I met, and I am about to marry the kindest, funniest, and most patient person I know. If you didn't have these qualities, I don't think we would have gotten this far. Um, but every day, I thank the Lord for blessing me with someone like you. You know me better than anyone else. You know my quirks and what annoys me. You know about the simple things that sets me off, and yet here you are loving me and marrying me. I get to laugh with you and cry with you, care for you and share with you, and most importantly, build a family with you. How lucky am I? Nevertheless, as we start this new chapter in our lives, I can't promise to be the best wife, but I will promise to be the best that I can be, and I will, I will stay faithful and loyal to you and to support and be there for you in all the highs and lows that may come your way. I promise to be your partner in every sense of the word, be your confident best friend and soulmate. Above all else, I promise to love you unconditionally. You came into my life when I did not expect to find love. And yet here we are today. I'm about to marry the love of my life. <laughs> you have become my best friend, partner in crime, Footy buddy, soulmate, and now from today, my wife. Some may say you are one in a million, but I say 
you're one in my lifetime. I loved how we clicked from the very beginning, from our first messages to our first date and our first kiss. Everything was just perfect, as if it were meant to be. The way our goals, values, dreams, future aspirations all aligned. I felt as though it could not be any better. We have created so many memories already, and I cannot wait to start the next chapter of our story together. Whatever may come our way, I promise to always be by your side, whether it be through the ups or downs. I will always be patient and understanding, I will be there to listen and provide you with the support when you need it. I will always care for you and cherish all the moments we share together. This next promise is the most important. <laughs> I promise to allow you to turn on the air conditioner or fan whenever you need it, <laughs> even if it isn't that hot. <laughs> At the end of the day, I will aim to be the husband that you need me to be and more. From today and into forever, I give you my heart and I promise to love you unconditionally until the very end. Eric, please kiss your beautiful wife. Well, I personally have been a very, very great witness to how the love story blossomed. Well, Carmela told me, oh, um, I have a date. I'm like, okay. Tonight, I've been given a great privilege of being Eric's best man, but I will carry that privilege not only for tonight, but also for the rest of my life. To the bride and groom. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>